miss me! Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist. I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Hey. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear. 
and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few vine wood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, 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 look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it.
cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paying. Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. After what went down at the jewelry store, I could definitely take a chance on them again. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so... They did good Evangelico, remember? Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um... I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Yeah, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Sugar plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk.
Let's see if we can find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Yo, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I got my 12 inches hanging right I don't here. think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Oh, yeah. Yo, dude. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! You and me can... Hey! Look out! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Shit! He's out of the car! I get it! I'm going! I'm... Oh my god! Gross! Oh He's running! It's the internet! You're a cyber creep! You're right, you're right! I'm getting help! Don't kill me! Oh my god, you killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! I can't believe it! With that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? 
I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Where? The grave? Death row? I know what I'm doing, baby. Just calm down. I think you're the one who needs to calm down, you maniac. No wonder I need medicating. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Hope you didn't shit yourself. I got a sweet gig, for sure. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. And <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. 
and now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Okay, okay, the airport. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. What's she doing? Michelle, there is no need to panic. The LSPD are here to escort you to the hangar. You do not need to go that fast. Please relax. She's gone crazy. You're playing chicken? We're located in pursuit. Michelle, stop the car! Stop the car, lady. Stop your car! He wants to kill me! He wants to kill me! On the floor, lady! On the fucking floor! Clear the hangar! Save me from this murderer! I think you need some help right now! Out of my way! Hey, oh, hey, hey, stop! stop. Look out! Stop.
trespassing. That's the most you got on me. She's the one behind you. you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously.
Watch it! Hey, what are you looking so cool calling the collective for? Guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my Ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh-huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score... Well, I, I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes.
Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Say, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own hearts, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You're a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay, okay, I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. It might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files. Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it, the place is up here. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be waiting. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is with the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fed pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump.
Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. Yeah, they better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the mass of numbers in the middle.
Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run bruteforce.exe. Quick, run bruteforce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out .exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we... We'll prepare for this. Let's take... I'm gonna stay here and make sure this download happens. Hey, mother... It's underway! We'll need that chopper ASAP! Get her over the building! Airlift initiated! Fly by building! You think there's enough of them? Corrupt asshole! Look up there! Hey, chopper's here! The process ain't finished yet! Holding over the FIB HQ! Drag this out! Motherfucker! Check the door! You hiding, asshole! What's happening over there? The download isn't finished. Keep holding them off while the process completes. Okay. We've got one shot at this. This shot has to be true. Hey, the dudes are through the door. Hurry up. It might be Chopper. He's on to us. Clear for takedown. I'm taking fire. I'm in. I'm in. Trying to bring it under. Don't want to fight. Get information. The pilot signal is totally dead. Oh shit, man! Don't worry, we got a backup plan. Use the harnesses. Repel from a few floors down. Yo, leave my feet, man. Man, shit! They're gassing us out. It's just a little smoke, people. Is he there? Yeah, go ahead. The helicrash caused extensive damage. Expl Motion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. All right, got it. Here they come. Pop these motherfuckers. We're in and out. Download complete. Get the device. About time. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through! On your... Guns are there! Keep going! I got this door! Dude, oh. spot it! Let's move! Hold on, I hear something in the stairwell. Opening! Here we go! Stay with me! Hey, we got a problem up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Man, can I have to shut it up? Shit! Ah! Ah! system. Okay. Shutting down fire suppression. Atta girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Let's get out of here! Check this out, man. He didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a... <laughs> no, he didn't make it. Are oh, you funny, huh, motherfucker? I mean, let's get the fuck out of here. No, we're too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! Oh! You be Aaron's! Die, you fucking asshole! Hey! Ah. Get 
You're lost! Let's go! Come on. Come on, guy. That's a good boy. Come back. Come on. Come on. Here. Oh, I've got my <laughs> Moving! Moving! What the fuck? We're coming through! Hey, let's move! Let's go! Go catch your pension! Following you! Back down, assholes! On me! Let's get out of here! Drop your shit and go! Damn, we going! Let's go! Run or get clapped! Uh, what the out of the way! Uh, uh, moving! Moving! Come on! Stairs! Let's move! Get in there! You guys make an honest killer like me sick! Hey, let's move! Hey, this could be our way out! We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. Every flash of light in the city. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. And the air unit's seen you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Come on! Go, man! to the street. That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this fair building. Hey, you want to stay with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg. Let's do this shit. Driver should be meeting us out front. Step to me? Stoolies! End of the rope! We're getting out of here! Hey, get lost! This is not good! Where's our getaway? Over here! Come on! Oh, it's the ambulance! Move! They gotta think we're a legit ambulance. They're on to us! Let's move it! I did everything I could to make this easy, but now it's gonna be difficult.
get out of the building. That's the hard part done, you know what I'm saying? So just lose them. All right, all right, we're clear. Frank, I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Whoa, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on, it was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man, I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was silly, sort of serious. But joking, once you react like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. It's his great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so... Enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. We can joke about how screwed up your damn life is. <laughs> yeah, well, what else are we gonna do? Besides, Trevor ain't a problem, and Dave will look after me, I think. I just wanted some sympathy, all right? I didn't mean anything by it, nothing at all. Hey, at least I'm getting paid for this job. I don't know what they got on you dudes, but that's some heavy shit to get into for free. Well, people, we did it. A raid on the Bureau. It wasn't the biggest job, or the smartest, but it was probably the ballsiest. Yeah, he is to that. Yeah, boy, I'm still shaking. I'm still so fucking tense. Man, that could be the job, or it could be you thinking about all the dudes who want to clap your ass. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Lester let himself. Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Any longer, I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey. hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Yeah. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else 
I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <sighs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I got to deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dawg. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck them. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck.
Ah, see? David, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, this is your frequency? That's over here at the end of the walkway, top of those stairs. I ain't going in! Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Damn it. Cut off. You're gonna have to go down the stairs at the other end of the building. Close the perimeter. No. Dickhead. Oh my God. What happened to Haynes? Did he get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Okay, hold her 12. Uh, nine. Okay, uh, three. No, no, no. no. Who's on our side, Dave? It seems like everyone wants to kill us. War, just step into the light. Yes. Ah. Okay, I'm going down. We meet in the courtyard by the fountain. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get killed by a team of rogue agents. T, hey, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. We're good. Moving up on the reflecting pool. Get down here, Michael. Run, Michael! More rogue agents on the walkway. Watch your ass, Steve. No, we got him. 
Davey? Who are these bureau men trying to kill me? I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. If Uncle T wasn't here, you'd be in real trouble. What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. How you doing up there? You've got to go across the walkway to the other side of the complex to get down. What are Mary and Winter doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. I'm waiting on you, Michael. Get down here. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're going to get off it. Oh, Christ. How did you get in? Pickle! on the walkway, G! The longer you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you, Am! Shit show! Shit in the guy's book! I've seen the 
as you can, and do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. I'm taking this one. So long. Be careful, Davey. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. Not here. Meet me behind the pawn shop in morning. Another chopper! Smoking, huh? Come on, no, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No. No, no, he's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I've been... What, homie, what have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. <laughs> but history... Nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. What the fuck out? 
motherfucker. You scary fucker. Fuck off. Gone. Fuck off. You think you can just push people around? Uh, Holy shit! Seriously? Come on, move! Fuck off! Oh, no no way! That's dumb luck right there. Taxi! So, where do you want to go? Vinewood Hills. I'll get you there fast, buddy.
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. <sighs> fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Can I get a cab out to me? Sorry. All the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call back later. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay Police Network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. We go in together. All right. All right, let's do this. I'll take out whoever I can. All right, bro, let's go. to 
the dumbest motherfucker in the ALS. You're fucking done! Get a proper introduction, dog. I can take care of myself. Go. Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Daddy tricky when he skeet you out. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't feel let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been... I ain't been paid for this dinner. All secluded and shit. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the. We fine now. Hey, watch. That's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show. Cause I'm sure there's been a few times where... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talk about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals of South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... Then we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Yes. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. 
Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He'd go off and make peace with the ballers and come back, and then put us on... Damn! Put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they got to... Oh, shit! So now they got to come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. What y'all? Getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, what? dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. Pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. What the hell? <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, um, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Just payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you will get some work. 
But instead, you want to be this gang-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, oh me. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. Stay calm, lady. Chill. Ah! Oh, damn it. Oh, 